Hey family, how y'all doing? How are you doing? So, um, I know we just had this, uh, on Sunday, we had the Lion's Gate Portal, 8-8, August 8th, and we had this new moon right along with it, very powerful. So, what I did was I saged my home, put my crystals outside, let them get some of that new moon energy, and moving right along, moving right along. So today in this video, what I want to do is, this is kind of like an introduction to these life path videos that I'm about to start making. So I'm about to start making life path number videos uh, for your life path number. Hopefully you find some good information there to help you. And so in this video, I kind of just wanted to share a little information about numerology and even why it is that I decided to look into numerology and, you know, my experience with these numbers and everything. Just as a kind of, uh, like I said, an introduction to the life path number videos. So your life path number you find your life path number by adding up all of the numbers of your birthday. Um, for example, if you add up all of the numbers in your birthday and it adds up to 25, then you add the 2 plus 5 to get 7, and then your life path number is 7. You add it all up until it turns into a single digit. Now, if it adds up to an 11, or a 22, or a 33, you don't add that together, you leave that as is, and that's a master number. So there's additional information for you if your numbers add up to 11, 22, or 33. Me, for example, when you add up all the numbers in my birthday, it adds up to 29, and then you add the two plus nine, and that gives you 11. So my life path number is 11, but since one and one is two, still carries some of the energies of two, but so basically you'd be an 11 slash 2 and if yours add up to 22 then you leave it as 22 you'd be a 22 slash 4 same thing for 33 you'd be a 33 slash 6 some numerology doesn't recognize 33 as a master number it's it, there's lots of different you, you've got uh, Pythagorean numerology Chaldean numerology there's like different types of numerology and so I think there's important information in all of it but your life path number will give you kind of like insight to the possibilities in your life as well as the best direction for you in life. So that's why I'm going to make these life path number videos. With numerology you have um, also other numbers, not just your life path number. You have your soul urge number, your destiny number. There's different numbers and with those numbers you actually get those numbers from adding up the letters, see in numerology there's a number for each letter in your name, right? So the soul urge number, the destiny number, these numbers are kind of, are, you find these numbers through the letters in your name. There's a number for each letter. But I'm focused on just the life path number in, the, in these videos I'm going to do because I ain't got that kind of time, okay? The numerology chart is extensive. There's a lot to it. There's your the day you were born, the, you know, that, that holds some kind of significance. The birth day, the birth month, like these numbers all play a part in your numerology chart. So, like I said, I ain't got that time, kind of time. I'm doing or focusing on just the life path numbers in these videos that I'm going to be posting. Um, the day you were born is not a coincidence. Even if you were had a certain due date and you were born uh, premature or whatever, it is not a coincidence the day that you were born. There's a meaning behind those numbers in the day and year that you were born and the month that you were born. There's a meaning with that. There's no coincidence with that. And it's the same thing with your name. Even though your parents are the one who chose the name for you, there's still a meaning behind that. It's not a coincidence that you were given that name. There's a meaning behind that name and the numbers that add up, the, the numbers that you find through the letters of your name in numerology. It's no coincidence 
it was all meant to happen okay now one of the reasons that I decided to look into numerology and even find my life path number and focus on the information and the energy of these numbers is because I've realized after going through an awakening how these numbers have been like there's been repeated numbers very interesting ways since birth since my since the beginning of my life and I believe my higher self led me to search and find information and find answers behind these repeating numbers they're just not a coincidence okay and that's what led me to search into numerology and even feel that this might be something that I should talk about and share with people because of how how like these numbers have been like I mean uh, it's just not something you can overlook so I really truly felt that this is something that uh, means something for my life there is maybe I need to share it maybe I need to look into it there's some kind of meaning behind it it's just not a coincidence now for example my birth so I was born in 77 and I was named after this famous gymnast named Nadia Comaneci so she was very, she was a Russian, Romanian gy gymnast, very good, and she was uh, uh, very popular when I was born in 77. And so my big brothers, they asked my mom and dad to name me after her because everybody was just like crazy about her at the time and thought she was awesome. Now what this woman was known for was for scoring all tens. Every judge, they would give her a ten. So she would have ten, 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 ten across the, pool, across the board and that's what she was famous for, for scoring all tens. Now, I was born in the 10th month. Now, when I first recognized that, it's just like, oh, well, that's maybe a coincidence. I didn't see the significance in that. Also, at um, the age 32, I had an ectopic pregnancy. Bug, am I? I had an ectopic pregnancy and it led to a near-death experience like seriously almost died but that wasn't the plan the plan was for me to have that near-death experience now the due date for that ectopic pregnancy was 10 10 10 in 2010 so when this doctor told me that due date I kind of just laughed at it like oh that's so interesting what a coincidence because at the time I saw no significance in re repeating numbers I just thought the 22 that I always saw was my lucky number. I just never thought anything deeper, you know. It's kind of feel like living in Miami was a huge distraction, right? So I didn't pay much attention to that. But I had a near-death experience due to this ectopic pregnancy. And one of the meanings for of number 10 is endings and beginnings as well as endings that lead to spiritually significant beginnings right so the ectopic pregnancy that was an end of a pregnancy and the near-death experience was a spiritually significant beginning that's the way I see that because uh, a near-death experience is very spiritual there are people who have had a near-death experience and then became a medium after it's almost as though uh, kind of almost crossing over gave them a stronger connection with the spirit world. So a near-death experience is very significant spiritually. And then the end of that pregnancy, that kind of like to me, that was the signal of that 10-10-10. There was a message in that due date for that pregnancy. Now surrounding my birth, there's a lot of different ways I can look at that. Uh, being named after the gymnast, famous for all the tens, and then being born in the tenth month. My death, you could, I mean, my, not my death, my birth, you could look at as a uh, spiritually significant beginning. But it could, the tens, I can also see that as maybe a, like a message of an ending, a signal of an ending, like my mom passing away when I was two. I also see and I also feel that my mother's death, that was an ending. My birth was a beginning, but I also feel like her death was, it led to a spiritually significant beginning of 
my connection to the spirit world because I truly believe that she was always with me since you know since childhood like she was always there I've, I've mentioned on more than one occasion that I never felt like I was by myself it was just an interesting feeling ever since I was a kid I just felt like someone was watching me and it just never felt like I was alone like there was just and I would think oh that's God watching me whatever it is I thought I just never felt that I was alone so I truly believe that that was a her passing away was a beginning of my connection to the spirit world so I see it that way as well so a variety of ways to look at it so it's not a coincidence to me at all now 1010 doesn't always have to do with death it doesn't always mean death so don't let yourself start getting scared if you're seeing 1010 on a regular basis or anything um, ten, uh, uh, death uh, being an ending is just one type of ending of the in, there's many more meanings to 1010 so don't scare yourself and think it has to do with death for me more recently I've been seeing a lot of 1010 recently but I've definitely been going through a lot of endings and new beginnings in my life so don't think that it, I've seen 1010 on many occasions and it didn't have to do with death so just don't scare yourself and start being worried if you're seeing 1010 on a regular basis okay now um, one thing I want to say about these repeating numbers, seeing these repeating numbers, whether it's your birthday you're always seeing, or just seeing the 222s two, two, and the 333, three, three, just seeing all of these repeated numbers. Now, I made a lot of angel number videos, and at the time I was making these videos, I was going through lots of blissful moments with this whole awakening, and it was just so new and just so like exciting to me. And so I was going through a lot of experiences when I would make these angel number videos. Now I truly believe that one of the reasons that we see these repeated numbers the way we do is because it is our spirit guides and our angels that are getting our attention for us to see these numbers. But I also feel that sometimes we see these repeated numbers because of our higher self. Now the higher self is ahead of you not 10 steps ahead of you but way ahead of you your higher self is way ahead of you and so I believe that your higher self knows what's gonna happen before it happens <laughs> I'll be trying my best not to turn around and I just be feeling like something behind me. so the higher self I truly believe that is um, way ahead of you and knows what's going to happen before it happens and that's how we sometimes see these repeated numbers it's the reason we see these numbers is because we are in alignment with our higher self we are merging with our higher self and it's almost to me the higher self showing you what you actually have the power that you actually do have so I believe that that is some of the reasons why you see these numbers so don't always think that it has to be some meaning behind it if you can't if it doesn't make sense if you've uh, you've gotten the meanings you search and you look for things sometimes just accept the fact that you are in alignment with your higher self and that's the reason or one of the reasons that you keep re uh, repeatedly seeing these numbers and you see them in such interesting ways and here's one of the things that helped me to understand that. So one day I was going into Publix, I'm going in the store, and I'm getting out of the car, I take my phone to put it in my pocket, I look at it, it's 222. So this happens all the time, so I'm just shaking my head like, okay. All right. I go in the store, grab a couple of items, just a few things, and as I'm checking out in the line, I'm sitting here and you know how they have the rack with all the chocolate candy and stuff. It's like I wanted something and I'm just like trying to like, I just have to have something. I don't even know why. I don't, I'm not even big on candy, chocolate and stuff like that. But I'm like looking at it and I'm like, I just want something. I just want something else. And I don't know what to get. And I'm just like looking at it like I gotta have something. And then I just grab the orange Tic Tacs, whatever. Give that to her, ring it up. And when I go to pay, my total is $22.22. So now I'm like, what the hell? Okay, 
I just saw 2222 coming in the store. Now it's 2222. What the? What? Okay. So I'm leaving out of the store and I'm walking to get in the car. And I'm just like kind of like in a daze sometimes when this happens. Like what the hell is going on? And so it dawned on me that if I wouldn't have picked up those Tic Tacs, the price wouldn't have been $22.22. So now I'm like, what is it that made me feel like I just had to get something? I just had to have something. And it's like I just picked something that led the, that made my total $22.22. And then I start to realize that that is not just, that's, that's deeper. That is, that is the higher self that actually already knows what to do to kind of get you to see these repeating numbers. So that's why, so that's some of the reasons why you see these repeated numbers. You got a lot of people that I've even recently seen somebody comment like, what is it with people and these repeating numbers? It's just a coincidence. That's all it is. It's not a coincidence. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not a coincidence. And many of us know that it's not because of how it happens. It's just like, it's not a coincidence at all. So aside from just your angels and spirit guides showing you or getting your attention to see these repeated numbers, it's also you being alignment, being in alignment with your higher self. Now, uh, the, not the videos that I'm going to be posting, I'm kind of focusing on Pythagorean numerology. Uh, with that numerology, there's no life path one. So you would be a 10. If anybody who, who thinks you're a life path one, you would be a 10 in Pythagorean numerology. Um, that would mean that if your numbers of your birthday, all the numbers add up to 19, one plus nine, you'd be a 10. The same thing for um, like 37 or 28 or 46. If it adds up to any of those, you add those two digits together and you get 10 your life path number is 10. There's, uh, there's something special about that number. So I'm not gonna start, when I start the life path number videos, I'll be starting with two and not with one because one would be a 10 in Pythagorean numerology. Uh, Pythagorean numerology also states that there's no, no master number 33. They don't look at 33 as a master number. Uh, it's a 33, six, and uh, I guess, um, the, the reason why is because they look at 33 as uh, as a powerful mind number, but not necessarily a master master number. But I'm still going to do because there's lots of different numerology. Some they do see 33 as a master number, even 44 or 55. But I just think that's too much. So um, I will make a video for Life Path 33 because I do feel like there is some additional information in that 33 slash six. The reason why they don't have a Life Path one is because uh, Pythagorean numerology looks at one as number one as the only absolute number and since one is a part of every, is a part of every number, uh, they find more significance in leaving your life path number as 10 rather than one. So um, this was just a quick video just to let you all know what I'll be working on, what I'll be posting soon. Um, Thanks for joining, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace and blessings.